and welcome to an unboxing and setup guide for the Gator GRV90 MKT 9 inch mirror camera kit. In this video I will show you what comes with the Gator 9 inch mirror display and go through the settings and setup procedure. We will now take a closer look at the mirror display and its inclusions. Here we have the 9 inch mirror display. In this bag we have the mirror mounting hardware, the USB lead and the manual. In the next bag we have the 12 and 24 volt in-car charger. And in the final bag is the 1080p rear camera with 5.4 meters of cable and a small bag containing a reverse camera adhesive and mounting screws. Let's have a quick look at the 9 inch mirror display. to have the mirror display automatically switch into reverse mode with parking guidelines when you put the car in reverse, you will need to connect the red trigger wire to the reverse light of your vehicle. You can mount the reverse camera anywhere on the rear of the vehicle using the included adhesive and screws where you'll get the best view. It is recommended to mount the reverse camera with the bracket facing up, otherwise your recorded footage will be in the wrong orientation. Install the mirror display by using the provided rubber mounting clips to hook onto the back of the mirror display and wrap it around the rear view mirror. After running the cables through the vehicle we can then connect the charging adapter that simply plugs into the accessory socket and the reverse camera cable into the GRV90 MKT. We are now going to run through how to operate the mirror display and what each of the settings do. The mirror display must be connected to power at all times to operate. The mirror display will automatically boot on and start recording if you have a micro SD card installed. You would need to stop the recording function in order to access the settings and playback. Along the bottom are the quick settings. From left to right we have the cog for settings, then playback, start and stop recording, image flip for rear camera, toggle microphone recording, and lock or unlock the current video file when recording. Just bear in mind that the image flip button here does not affect the orientation of the recorded video clip. This is purely for ease of viewing convenience. If the bar disappears or the screen turns off, just tap the screen and it will appear. If you swipe the screen from left to right, you can adjust the brightness to suit your conditions. If we swipe up or down, we can pan vertically to your desired position. Perfect for lining up a trailer when connecting it to the vehicle. We can open the menu of the mirror display by pressing the cog button in the left side of the toolbar. First on the list is to toggle between recording in 1080p or 720p. We recommend using 1080p as this will provide the best video quality. Movie clip time is when it saves a new video file every set interval. You can set the file length to one, two or three minutes, depending on your preference. Sound record allows you to turn off recording of in-cabin audio if you wish. The mirror toggle is to flip the rear camera horizontally. You may have to adjust the time and date on your mirror display when you first use it. Once clicked, the year will first be selected. You can use the plus or minus buttons on either side of the menu to increase or decrease the year. Once the year is selected, press the OK button and it'll bring you to the next part of the day. Again, using the plus or minus buttons to change the month and pressing OK to move on to the next part. Once you get to the end, pressing OK will bring you back to the settings menu and save the time and date. The stamp function will allow you to set what type of watermark you would like on your recorded footage. The options are to have the date and time, or the model number, 
or both on the corner of all your videos. You can also have this feature off if you like. There is an option to change the language of your device if you wish. Flicker is a setting that prevents flicker of streetlights depending on the country you're in. It is automatically set for Australia and should be left at 50 Hz. LCD Power Save is the time it takes before your mirror screen turns off. If you'd like to have the screen turn off faster, you can set it to one of the times here and this will simply turn off the screen and continue recording. If you're using the mirror in stream mode, then you turn off the LCD Power Save feature. PQ mode allows you to change the saturation of video between soft, standard and bright. G sensor is if you'd want to adjust the impact detection sensitivity of your mirror display. High sensitivity will detect small impacts, while low sensitivity will detect larger impacts. Each time the G sensor is activated, this will securely save the video file while driving. If you're using the streaming mode on the mirror to view the rear camera while driving, select G sensor to off. You can adjust the volume of the speaker used for video playback and user interface navigation sounds. Lastly, we have the option to restore the device to factory settings and format the SD card, which should be done every two to three months. Let's jump out of the settings menu and have a look at how playback works. Just to note, when exiting one of the menus, the mirror display will automatically begin recording again. Pressing the playback button next to the settings will bring us to where we can view, delete, and lock recorded footage from the rear camera. The video icon shows your recorded footage that is not currently locked. The lock button will show you the list of footage that was locked either manually or through the crash detection feature. Tapping on a file will automatically begin playback of the video and along the bottom we can lock the footage, go to the previous video, play or pause, go to the next video, delete the video and go back to the playback section. Now if you want to retrieve footage from your Gator mirror display, there are two options of doing so. We can plug in the mirror display to the computer using a mini USB to USB cable. This will allow us to look inside the mirror display storage like a USB device. The other way is using a micro SD card adapter and taking the SD card out of the mirror display and putting it in the adapter and then plugging that into your PC. Make sure the mirror display is disconnected from power before taking out the SD card. I do recommend that you have a flick through the manual before using the product, as it will contain a lot of extra information and troubleshooting. Go to the Gator Driver Assist website for the latest manuals and software for your product. That sums up the unboxing and setup guide for the Gator GRV90 MKT. You can stay up to date on the latest products by subscribing to this channel and visiting our website, GatorDriverAssist.com.